We're all here today for the same reason, because we love America. I traveled farther to tell you how much I love America. I traveled 1,700 miles to be with you tonight. And I... But I came because I have kids, I have grandchildren, and I have a great-grandchild. And I'm concerned for the future of America. About eight months ago, I reached out to Nikki Haley, a woman who I had never met personally, but whom I had the pleasure of seeing when she was the ambassador to the United Nations. And I saw how poised, graceful, knowledgeable, centered, intelligent she was. I saw how she commanded her space. And when she indicated a desire to run for president of the United States, and I saw the field, I said, I want to get to know this lady. I spent 70 some odd years being pretty apolitical. But I, like many of you, wonder about the future of America. I think that it is not in as good a place as it was when I was growing up. And for that, I am sad. And I assume that that brings a lot of you here today, too. We're at a crossroads. And for, and for me, finding the person that we can be proud of, not only domestically, but on the national stage in 2024, is probably the most important decision that all of us are going to have to make. In our current history, Nikki Haley has to be that candidate. here necessarily to bash the competition, although I'm perfectly capable of doing that. <laughs> suffice it to say, suffice it to say that when you teach a child not to put their hand over a flame, you do that because you know they're going to get burned. Well, we've gotten burned. And then when they go back, when you go back and you put your hand in front of the flame again, you say, you know what? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, fool me twice, shame on me. We've already seen. We've already seen what these two presidencies look like. It's time for Nikki Haley. This is her moment. She is a star. If I know few things, I don't know math, I don't know calculus, I couldn't be a doctor because I cheated on my chemistry final. But I tell you this, I do know people. And this woman is the real deal. So... So please, New Hampshire, use your brains and your heart, bring her home on Tuesday. And it's a joy for me to be able to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Nikki Haley. Yeah.